Your animations suck and this makes your videos feel boring and low quality. So get ready for an epic journey into the world of motion graphics as we unlock the top secrets of Ali Abdal's signature animation style. Before we jump into the tutorial, let's have a quick look at his videos. He uses pop-up animations to introduce new tags and icons. When he shows B-roll, he has animated vertical video overlays on the side, then he shows questions and comments as cute text messages, and for chapter transitions he uses smooth animated slides. So let's start recreating these effects. The pop-up effect works exactly the same for the text as it does for icons. So let's go to effects and get a text clip. Drag it into the timeline and move the cursor a few frames into the clip. Then go to the inspector and press the animate button on the zoom. Next, move the playhead a few frames to the front and increase the zoom just a little bit. Now go all the way to the first frame and drag the zoom down to zero. To display the animation graph, press this button, then adjust the timing and smooth out the curve. If you put this text clip over one of Ali Abdal's videos and change the font type to more Serra, it looks like one of his own animations. To create these beautiful transition slides, we will utilize a fusion composition. Begin by heading to the effects section and dragging our fusion composition into the timeline. Once you have done that, navigate to the fusion page and click on the background node. Since we are aiming for a more dynamic background, we will opt for a four corner from the drop down menu. Now select four matching colors for your background which will form a captivating gradient. Next bring in a merge node. If you intend to include multiple elements with your composition use a multi merge node and connect it to the node graph. To animate the slide we will use a transform. With the transform node selected advance the playhead to the point where you desire the slide to be fully visible. Then go to the inspector panel and click on the keyframe for the center attribute. Then move to the first frame and drag the Y coordinate to approximately minus 0.5 to position the slide out of the frame. To elevate the visual appeal of your animation, click on the settings button and enable motion blur. I like to get the best quality and maintain the shutter angle at 180 degrees. For center bias I use a value of 0.4 and for sample spread I use 2.5. While your transform node is still selected, access the spline panel. Select both keyframes and press S to smooth out the animation curve. Then press T and increase both the ease in and the ease out values. Now I want an element that enters the frame once the slide is already in view. To do this, get another text node and connect it with a fresh merge node in the node graph. Repeat the process you used for the initial slide by animating the in and out points within the transform node. However, add a slight delay to make sure it enters and the slide is already on the screen. Don't forget to enable motion blur and apply spline smoothing to ensure a seamless transition. And this is the result. Here's a quick tip. You can seamlessly integrate this technique with the pop-up effect by simply overlaying a pop-up element over the slide in the edit tab. This combination can add an extra layer of visual intrigue to your content. Next, let's dive into the exciting process of creating these text message bubbles. Again, we will use a fusion composition. Head over to the fusion page to kickstart the magic. Start by merging two background nodes into the media out. The first background node, which is connected with the yellow line, should have its alpha value set to zero, rendering it invisible. On the other background node, switch the color to white. Now it's time to introduce two text nodes and connect them to the multi match node. Type in your desired sample text and make sure to format both text nodes to align with the look we are aiming for. Move the name text a bit up and make the message text anchor to the right. To create the appearance of the message bubble, add a rectangle node and connect it to background 2. Adjust its height and width to match the text size, leaving a bit of padding for a clean layout. Additionally, fine-tune the corner size to around 0.7. Complete the bubble shape by dragging a polygon node into background 2 and sketching out the beach bubble's distinctive corner. To give the whole thing a 3D effect, we want to skew it a little bit. Hit shift spacebar and search for corner position now. Add this node after the multi-merge in the node tree. Now it's time to tweak the values for both left corners. For the top left corner set it to 0.1 and 0.95 and for the bottom left corner opt for 0.1 and 
These values add a subtle skewed effect, but feel free to experiment with them to amplify the effect. With our elements in place, let's introduce a transform node and integrate it into our node tree. Within the inspector panel, look for pivot and position it at the bottom right of the speech bubble. You can alternatively drag it in the viewer to this location. Then it's time to animate the bubble. We will use the same workflow as we used for the pop-up effect to add live to your text message. Make keyframes with the size option and then smooth out the animation spline. As a quick tip, if you're aiming for a more visually dynamic text, get a background node and create a gradient. Connect this node to the text node to apply it. For the last fusion effect today, we recreate the video overlay. In the fusion page, we start with a background merged to the media out. Then drag in your media in, which will be displayed in the overlay. Next, take a rectangle mask and position it over your subject. Adjust the width and the height and increase the corner radius. Then use a transform node to move the video over to the side and decrease the size. To create the border, duplicate these three nodes and replace the media in with a background node. Change its color to blue. On the rectangle mask, deselect solid and choose this border style. Also, increase the border width. Then add a new soft glow node and place it here. Next, we copy these four nodes over and connect them with the merge node. Change the background color to white and decrease the border width. Now you can connect the merge with the multi merge node. To animate the border, go back to the blue rectangle mask and change the length to 0.5. Then move the playhead to the first frame and animate the position option. Move the cursor further in the timeline and change the position value to 1. Next, go to the spline graph, select both keyframes and click the loop button. Now you can tweak all the values until you find something you like. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. I will see you in the next one.